Running computer vision tasks on mobile devices in real time consumes a lot of energy. For instance, detecting objects from 1080p camera streams in 60fps requires an energy budget that's two orders of magnitude higher than what a typical mobile device offers. The classic approach to close the energy gap has been to optimize the underlying hardware architecture for vision kernels of interest, and certainly we've seen a lot of recent work on optimizing the CN accelerators. This paper offers a different but complementary perspective. The observation is that the vision kernel is typically just half of the story in an end-to-end -end application pipeline. The other important half is the imaging stage, which converts raw camera sensor data to frames that vision kernels consume. Our key insight is that by expanding the research scope to the end-to-end -end application pipeline, we uncover hidden optimization opportunities. And the particular optimization that we demonstrate in this paper is to share motion metadata between the imaging stage and the vision kernels. And this would allow us to greatly reduce the amount of computation at the system level. We co-designed the underlying systems on a chip architecture with key augmentations to, to, to support this new execution paradigm. In session 7a on Tuesday, I'll explain to you exactly what the algorithm and architecture co-design is. But overall, we achieve about two-thirds of energy savings with only 1% accuracy loss. We think that this work offers a promising first step to enable the transition from domain-specific accelerators to domain-specific SOCs.